Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to do more medical imagery, but I'm going to show you a little trick if they don't uh, have a train and a test folder, how you can create that. We'll start with that first part. Okay, so they had a train folder, but they didn't have a test folder. What I did was um, I did a subset training and then down here subset validation. And up here with the image data generator, I did a validation split. And I did horizontal flip equals true for both. Funny discovery. You'll see how well the model performs. Okay, and then as usual, since it's binary, one neuron. The input shape is the same as the target shape up there. A convolution 128, 64, 32, flatten. And then remember, this has to be one. If these were multi-categorical... If it fit the matrix, this might be fine, depending on how many logits there are. But you usually got to be safe and put nine neurons, nine neurons. But what made the validation loss uh, almost nothing was this right here. The horizontal flip equals true data augmentation for both. Okay, guys. And uh, you see the model summary. Look at how well it did. And then we'll see at the perfect predictions. You see the validation loss? Training loss is almost nothing. Everything good across the board. You see that? 97% validation accuracy. 13% for validation loss. Wow. There's the model.save function. And then we're going to do our first pneumonia picture. Okay, look at this. Remember last time how I told you the, uh, the target shape and the input shape has to be this for image size. CV2 equals read the image you're trying to predict, reshape 1 and 3, or negative 1 and 3 usually. Predict, prepare the image, and then uh, the, the labels, remember? 0 is usually the normal and the one is the pos the positive the bad one okay well this is from the data set and then always check the data set so you know which one is zero which one is one and then uh that's why it's important you see how i printed this out this class label right here almost one zero percent chance normal and a hundred percent chance mnemonic now, look at how mnemonical that is. Then we're going to look at the same one right here. We picked another pneumonia pick. But this one, it says there's a slight chance it might not be mnemonical. Why? Because this highly, uh, you see how much, you see this right here? All this mucus? There, there's not as much mucus, so it left a little... Well, down here, I would suppose also, but the model was more responding to this right here. That other person has something else, I think, probably, I would say, for medical imagery. Well, also, the heart and the organs are down, but, but you see this right here? That's kind of not normal. Okay, and then we're going to see a uh, 100% chance normal. Now, why is that? Look at this lung. Look at how clear it is. You see that? In the same way, the normal pick and the mnemonic pick. Okay, guys, and remember that trick I showed you earlier? How if you don't have a training in a test folder, horizontal flip equals true. And I found you can improve validation, accuracy, and loss by doing horizontal equals flip for even if you do have two directories. You do the horizontal flip equals this for it, this as well equals true. Look at how well it did. And only 813 pictures for the validation. 3,000. Okay, guys. That's it.